Hey guys, this is Jack from FEV Academy in partnership with GetFEV.com. Today we're going to have a closer look at the Lumineer Insane Micro Brushed Motors. Now a lot of you guys may have jumped on the bandwagon and gotten a micro FPV quadcopter that you are using to fly around indoors in your house or in the office or in a mall or in some really cool locations where you wouldn't normally fly a bigger FPV quad. Now these micro quads are great little toys but the cheaper ones does have a big power disadvantage and the power is mostly generated from the motors. So this little blade inductrix is already quite a bit stronger than a normal inductrix that you might be buying that you have to put the FPV on yourself and upgrade it over time because these motors are already upgraded quite a bit too and this one that I have over here this is a completely custom built a uh, little tiny whoop it has the Raycon Heli aluminium frame and it has the the acro whoop uh, flight controller so it's completely manual and all the little bells and whistles but the biggest upgrade that you can be making to these is getting a set of insane motors. So these ones that I have with me here today, these are the Lumineer 19,000 kV brushed motors and they are titled insane. So you get the fast motors, those are I think about around 10,000 kV, then you get the faster, then those are about 14,000 kV, then you get the fastest and they're around 17,000 and then you have these insane motors and they're about 19,000 kV. And what that extra kV does is just makes them spin a lot faster so you have a lot more power on your little tiny whoop. So it flies faster, the punch outs are a little bit more hectic but that does come at a cost. So the downside to having these motors is that the lifespan of these motors are only around three to five hours compared to the usual 10 to 15 hours. And also it does limit your battery life quite a bit. But with that said though, these motors are extremely, extremely fun to fly. It definitely outweighs the cons of having the lower battery life. Just make sure you have more battery so you can fly this more and the lower lifespan, you're gonna have a blast flying it for that three to five hours and it is so, so worth it. So if you have a little tiny whoop race and coming up with a bunch of mates and you have these motors, you're gonna be just leaving them in the dust because they're just gonna fall back so, so quickly because these motors are just that fast. So another little cool feature about these motors is that they do come in a red color, which makes them stand out from the crowd. If you look over here, you can see the color of the motors shining through. These ones are silver, which is a standard, and it doesn't look that cool. If you had these red motors, then it does look pretty insane, and it does make your quad look a little bit nicer than the rest. Now, all in all, these are great motors if you want that extra performance on your FPV quad. What I would recommend, however, is because these motors draw a little bit more current, you might want to upgrade to a higher quality battery. Lumineer does also make high quality batteries for your Tiny Whoop, so definitely check those out. And if you want even more power, the normal Molex connector on this little tiny whoop doesn't give enough current through it. Uh, we recommend upgrading to the JST so that this little connector in the back where you plug the battery into has a JST connector and then the batteries must also have a JST connector. And Lumineer also sells the tiny whoop batteries, the 1S205 milliamp hours, I believe with a JST connector already onto it. So you don't have to go and modify your batteries. So all in all that little package will just make it a power rocket and a lot of guys are thinking, oh, should, shouldn't we just upgrade to the DYSL for the new uh, brushless little micro quads? I still believe that there's a big spot for these little micros that are brushed in my heart. They are great little quads. You can still fly them in places where you can't really fly the ALF. So it's definitely a nice little quad to still have in your arsenal and upgrading to these motors just makes it so much more fun. So if you are interested in purchasing these motors, I'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.